is it the case that we can understand people better if we read more novels? So in our research group, I think we've been the first to show that, yes, there is an association of that kind. And you've taken uh, pictures of the brain in well, um, absorbing that image. Uh, the brain, uh, yes. Um, so this is President. my colleague, uh, Raymond. He's done uh, a, a kind of analysis, which is called a meta-analysis, in which he's looked at uh, two different kinds of things. One of them is which parts of the brain are activated when... Uh, a person tries to understand someone else, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what kind of person they are. <coughs> okay? And it turns out there is a network, which he calls a mentalizing network, because we're trying to understand people in mental terms. What are they thinking and feeling? And it includes parts of the frontal lobes here, it includes a part at the back of the cingulate cortex. The cingulate cortex is sort of in the middle here and goes back here, so part at the back of the cingulate cortex. And part of the uh, area uh, between the temporal and parietal lobes on the side. And this is a network um, that we use for understanding people. And guess what? That network is activated when people are reading stories. Right? So these so yellow patches here then, are the places of overlap between uh, the network for understanding people and the uh, places that are activated when, when you're reading a story. 